How are you too? Today, I decided to make a video about how you can actually check your um, your breakers from your home, you know, panels. It could be um, any panel, as long you have breakers in there. And before you throw them away, if they not, you know, burn out or anything, you know, look real bad if you want to use them and you you know kind of skeptical because i'm not saying not everybody know how to check them but a lot of people don't know how to check them so um i'm gonna show you a way if you already know so um that's all right but if you don't know i'm gonna show you a way you can check the breakers and find out all you all you trying to looking for is continuity. So um, this one right here in my hand is actually uh, 50 amps. So that's most likely a range outlet, you know, you know, uh, a range breaker. So I have another 50 amps here. And we're gonna check uh, a few of them, and um, there's a third 50. Um, actually, that's a 30 amps. That's most likely a dryer or a washer or anything that's actually you know um, pretty much a, a um, eight size wire. You know, um, you would put a a 30 in there. Anything that's um, a six size wire, you would actually throw a 50 in there. So, um, and then plus I have a 50 names. We're gonna check there, that's a single post. We're gonna check there. And um, I have a 20 amp. So we're gonna check that one. And plus the last 20 amp that I have, we're gonna check it. So I'm going to show you guys um, when they good, what you're going to see on the meter. And I already have the meter set on beep. That's where I have it set it. So I'm looking for continuity. So this is, you know, I have it set on continuity. So that's what I'm looking for. So um, anytime you, 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 don't, you don't hear the beep. You might hear beep on one side. Let's say if you're checking a, a double pose, okay? You might hear the beep from here because you, what you're doing, you're going to check. Let me just grab one and do it real quick for you. Um, this, is, this is how you're going to do it, though. Okay? Now, first, you're going to do it. First, you're going to do it with the breaker on and then you're gonna do it with the breaker off you're gonna try to do it both way because with the breaker off you don't want to hear any beep so therefore like i'm saying if there's any beep so therefore like i'm saying if you have continuity like i'm saying the water breakers off and you don't want that you want to hear continuity when the breaker is on which is here okay so this is what we're gonna what we're gonna look for so bear with me because i'm using I'm using one hand um, to hold the camera and the other hand to to um, hold the wires, which is the probes. So bear with me. So now, as you can see, it's on own, okay? And this is a uh, 50 amps. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna turn it up, turn it over, and place. It doesn't matter which. It doesn't matter which lead that, you know, you can place one lead here. See if I can insert it. And let it. Okay. And then the other lead, the same line that you would normally put your, your wires. Because this part right there, this, those pins over here, they are the one who, who are going to actually clamp directly in the panel the panel um clamps which is you know the pins 
these pins right there that's you know that's what it's gonna be so over here over here in here that's where you normally put your wires okay so this is a 50 amp so usually oh that's exactly how it is you got the uh, either the um, the black or the red doesn't matter like I'm saying which wire goes where so now you have one lead um, at one end and you're gonna touch the other one and as you can see this is what you're looking for and you can see the sound so which mean okay which mean when I take it off it give me oil it's not touching oh well so when I touch it it tells me that I have continuity so that's that's what I'm looking for now we're gonna check the other side because we need both sides to give us the same reading because if one side give you one reading and the other side give you another reading so therefore the breaker is not functioning right it's no good okay same reading for both and we have good continuity because our numbers shows zero okay so that tells you that before you just throw that breaker away if you can do that you can actually save money and that tell your breaker is good now now we're gonna do it with the breaker off flip it off see the breaker was on now I just flip it off so turn it the same way it's off make sure it's off because we don't want to have false false reading so the same way doesn't matter which lead put it in there okay be gentle because you don't want to mess it up okay no reading touching touching it no reading no reading see no reading at all so that's a good thing because the breaker is off you don't want to hear any reading while the breaker is off because that would signify that you have continuity with the breaker off same thing with the other one so this one right there is a good breaker I'm trying to take that out we got a good breaker this fit is good so let's let's get our hands on one that is not good i have a feeling this one probably maybe this one probably not good let's check this one check it the breaker is on off you can tell it's off because it is moved towards off position on flip it back is moved towards on position turn it over put the lead one side clamps touch the other probe okay now we're not see I'm touching so you see that I'm not doing anything illegal I'm not trying to play you I'm touching no sound let me go over here look at my meter my meter is say well which means there is no continuity okay that means I'm touching no sound there is no continuity and over here as you can see my props is sitting in there and my other lead is touching no sound so when I move it to the other side okay so now I have continuity with the other side and this is what you're looking for okay now that tells me that this is a 50 amp breaker right so that came from 
a winch out. Like this is the one that I just changed um, because somehow my booklet trip from my um, from my wrench outlet and um, when I pull the stove to look you know the um, um, in the back of the stove and I find out one of my lead wire which is one of my hot wire actually burned out which is a red wire now the black we got two hot wire from the from that lead so the black and the red are normally hot and they pull in 120 120 when you combine that you supposed to have 240 so that tells me that my 120 from here fell and somehow it tripped the breaker okay but if you ask me how my wire which is my plug wire that from the back of the stove burn out um yeah it's it's possible don't you know don't ask me how but it's possible so anyway so this side is actually fell and that side is still good but guess what does it matter if this one is still good you can't use it that's when you have to just toss it out just have to dump it in the trash okay so we know this one is no good all right now so and so now let's check um single post like a single phase phase so this one is a 20 amps okay right so we're gonna check that one and we know that it's on it's on off position so we're gonna put on on position okay now here we go we're gonna put the lead okay now we're gonna touch we're gonna touch the other end we got beep I know you can hear the beep Now that tells me that even though you can hear the beep, but there's a short somewhere because it's supposed to show all zero. So this is another scenario where if you come across and that tells you that there's a short somewhere. So this breaker, like I'm saying, no, it's it's not good. It's failing. So you lose you're looking at you're looking at 0, 19, 0, 20. It's supposed to round up to all zeros. So that right there tells you that, again, this circuit breaker, it's not functioning properly. So what we just did, we just flip it to um, off and check again to make sure that if we have any reading, apparently we don't have any reading. So. That's the second one that's no good. You're supposed to have continuity with zero, not with numbers. Okay? Now, we're going to check a last one. Then I'm going to let you guys go because I'm pretty sure you only, you guys only understand it. For those that ne um, never seen anything like this, I'm pretty sure there's somebody out there already got it. Already have a video out there like that. So anyway, um, this one is a uh, 15 amps. So we already have this one on on position, as you can see. Okay, so we're gonna go and put the probe, put the lead right there. Same. Okay. Then we're gonna touch. So we have okay. Then we have zero. That's a good one. So thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it.